Hey guys, welcome back to Stindy Games, and today we're checking out a game called Bridget Plus. Now, this is a kind of like a bridge building simulator. You get a you get a chasm or a river or something to cross with a road or maybe a railway, and you have to basically build a bridge for your transportation to get across. Now, you can use all kinds of things like suspension cable. You can make a normal bridge, have hydraulics on a river especially to make sure that boats can go underneath your bridge, and so it can like kind of raise itself up to let them through. Now this is kind of similar to the bridge project, which you may have seen on Steam, and a couple of guys have played that on YouTube for sure. And I wanted to try that out, but I never did. But I feel like Bridget Plus is my opportunity to check out this kind of type of game. So we're going to jump in and see what it's about. I've already played the tutorial, so I know the basics of how the game is kind of built, and what kinds of bridges you can actually build. So let's start the game and uh, and check it out. Now it's available on Steam, and it's, uh, it's, it's on sale at the moment, 40% off. I'm not sure if it will be when this video goes out, but uh, it's about $8.99 on deal. So uh, let's see. Easy, medium or hard? Well, I've got the basics down, so I'm going to go for medium because I fancy a kind of a, like a semi-challenge. Okay, let's jump in. Medium one, build a 120 meter train bridge using iron and steel to support the bridge from underneath. Okay, this sounds cool. Right, so let's just jump in. Oh my god. Right, so I've got to get from here, I guess, over to here. Now, the way we do that is we build like platforms like this of railway, I think. There we go. Ooh. Now that should be a platform for the train to get across from one side to the other. Okay, great. But, okay, let's try this. I mean, there's no support here, so let's see what happens when we go to test the bridge and the train goes across it. Okay. Now I've got a feeling this is going to end horribly. I think the train's just going to fall into a chasm and I'm going to be responsible for mass kind of like mass death. So let's see if it's... Uh Oh god, oh no. Okay, the bridge is broken, but no worries, right? The train hasn't come yet. Is the train gonna come across? Where's the train? No, okay, I don't, I don't think the train's gonna even come because, well, the bridge is a wreck. Okay, and every time I reset it, the bridge just falls apart. So yeah, basically, once you've built your bridge, you can go to simulate, and that will kind of add physics to the world, which basically decides whether your bridge is gonna fall apart or if it'll hold up. So let's just stop the simulation. So how do we stop the simulation? Uh, I don't know, actually. It's a good question. Um, if we unpress play and then uh, edit. Okay, we're back in edit mode. Right. So we need to add some support to this bridge to make sure it can hold itself up. Now, what have we got? We've got two anchor points down here in the river. That's pretty cool. And we've got a bunch of materials over here. We've got steel and we've got iron. Now, I'm going to use steel to hold up the bridge. And I'm going to use these support points, I think, to build us a cool kind of support strut thing, I guess. Okay, how does this look? Okay, this looks good so far. Now we'll add it there for a bit more support. And where are we going to go? Let's just bring this over here as well and try and keep it symmetrical, I think, as much as we can. And then up there like that. And if I bridge over here, is that where it is? Yeah, that's it. And then again up there. And then again up there. Now this looks pretty solid, but I want to bring it bridge over... Ooh! What was that noise? Weird. Well, okay, maybe I can... Ooh, ooh, this is a bit weird, actually. Ooh, ooh. Not sure I like these noises. Okay, <laughs> um... What's it doing? Why, why can't I do that, then? Is, is it is it too much cost? Oh, of course, yeah, if you look down at the bottom... At the moment, I've spent 14,000, but my budget is only 15,000, so... I don't think this is solid enough. We've got lots of lots of support on the left but not enough support in the middle. And I think that's because I've used steel everywhere. I think steel's stronger than iron, and I've used too much of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out of here. I'm going to delete some of this steel. And I'm just going to use... I'm going to use steel for the main struts along the bottom, but then iron on the supporting struts. So let's go down to iron now. Select this. And let's just bridge across here like this. Okay, so that's... Uh, that's some some framework along underneath the bridge. And now let's just hold that up with some pretty diamond shapes down here. Now I'm not sure this is going to hold up very well, but let's see. Let's hit simulate and see what happens when we let the train cross the bridge. Okay. Let's oh no! What happened? I I don't get it. Was it what what happened? I Okay, let's just stop this and um Jeez, what happened? Everything fell apart. Okay, well let's reset and go back to basics. 
Now I'm starting to think maybe I should have started out on easy mode because this is actually quite tricky. Right, okay, so now this adds physics to the world, which basically means we've got all these things up here, all these are kind of like levels of platforms, but they need to be stressed on these two kind of anchor points down at the bottom. So how are we going to go about doing that? Well, let's drag the iron up. Um, well, straight up for a start. And if we have it connected over like this, will this work? I don't know. Now this seems okay to me, but I don't know. Ooh, this is a bit of a tricky one actually, because contrary to popular belief, I'm not really an architect by any means, so I have no real idea about structure and loads. Well okay, let's just bring this down, and uh, see if we can make something with this. Now is this symmetrical? No, it's not quite. Okay, it is now, so let's press simulate and see if this bridge just falls apart again. No it's not, it's not falling apart. But there's a lot of stress over here. Oh, and you see why. If I uh, if I pause it, there's a bar that goes across there, but not a bar that goes across there. Okay, right. So I'm going to come back into edit mode, add a bar across there as well, and uh, and it's looking pretty good. Now I'm worried that there's not enough there's not enough um, support on this center section. So let's go to simulate and see what happens when we send a train across. Okay, go, go train. Where are you? Chugga 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 chugga. Woo woo. Now, is it, gonna, is it gonna get across? Oh, 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 no! Oh, no! My train! Okay, I can handle this. This is fixable. Right, so let's just go reset this and see what happens play by play. Okay. So here comes the train. Chugga, 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 chugga. Where is it? Okay, now let's bring the speed down and see where, see where the points are that the bridge just falls apart. Now, this is really cool, actually. I remember in school, like my first year of secondary school, we had to build bridges out of balsa wood and test them with like loads of brick. Right, so the, the train enters the first platform and already there's a lot of stress on that strut there. The stress just becomes too much and it buckles. And as soon as those two points buckle, the whole thing just falls apart. Wow, okay. So I can come back and uh, go to edit. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some steel now there's a lot of stress on this point here, so I'm wondering if I can anchor this to the left as well, to the sides of the mountain. Let's try that. No, I don't think I can. Okay, so let's just delete that. Now we're well under budget here. I've got like $5,000, I guess, to spend on steel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to augment some of these points with steel. There we go. And I'm going to add a strut there as well. Oh, whoops. Let's get rid of that. And I'll bring this strut across here like that. Now I'll do the same thing over this side. Just get rid of you and you. And I think... Probably these two as well. I think I can afford it. So I'll just bring some steel over here as well. There we go. Now I'll bring steel up here. Steel up there. Uh, bring the steel over here and down there. And finally, bring it up here, and the little supporting strut up here. Now I'm still about $1,000 under budget, but let's see how the train handles these new steel girders. Okay, let's go for it. Oh man, this, 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 this kind of, these, these struts here are already kind of dark green, which means they're under a lot of strain. So let's see what the train does. Okay, chugga, 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 chugga. Come on, Mr. Train, you can get across this bridge. I know you can, you can do it. Okay, let's bring down the speed and see what happens play by play. Okay, so he's on the bridge. He's on the bridge. Oh, already this is getting pretty stressed. Oh, it's going dark green. Oh no, I can see red. Oh, oh. No, I think it's gonna hold. Wow, I think it's gonna actually hold. But it hasn't crossed the middle of the bridge yet. So this could be a bit of a weak spot for us. Oh yeah, I can see those girders going dark. Is it gonna be okay? I think it might be okay, you know, guys. Oh yeah, I think we've done it. I think we've gotten the train across. Ah, oh, sweet, okay, let's bring up the speed. Oh yeah, the perfect bridge. This is fantastic. So what now? Are we going to get a bigger train? Is there going to be a bigger train that comes across? I don't know. Okay, here it comes again. No, it's the same size. Oh yeah, perfect. I think we have mission successful here. Oh yeah, test passed. 
Fantastic. All right, it's time to go to the next level. Right, medium two. Let's check this out. Okay, so what do I have to do this time? Um, oh, I forgot. What are the details? Doesn't say. Build an 18 meter train bridge using iron and cable. Hint, add cable to the leftmost and rightmost anchor points for added support. Iron and cable. We're on a river, but I don't think we have to think about any ships, or do we? I don't know, actually. Let's try this. Okay, so what have we got, materials-wise? We've got cable, steel. No, we haven't got steel, we've just got iron and cable. Oh, this is going to be tricky, actually. Well, I'll build a basic bridge over like this. I wonder, actually, I'm going to try building upwards. I wonder if I can, like, have a platform be like this. Oh, no, wait, it won't let me. I think I... The main kind of platform has to be like this. Okay, right. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to use some weird logic here and build some strong triangles, because I remember at school I was taught that triangles are a very strong shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a triangle here and build the whole thing out of triangles. Now I've got, and again, $15,000, or I think it's dollars at least, so I'm just going to keep this theme of triangles. And actually I'm going to extend this... Um, Oh, wait, look, I can attach to over here as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up like this and uh, and just go triangle, full triangle. Now, is there somewhere down there I can attach things to? No, there isn't. Okay. Right, so what am I going to do? Triangles. I said triangles were a good idea. So let's just reset everything. Now I want a triangle, let's see. I want smaller triangles because they seem to be a bit better at holding weight. Okay, so we'll just come across like this. Looks good to me. Okay, now that's almost symmetrical. Although, um... Yeah, actually, that shouldn't be like that. It should be uh, like this. And now we've got... Ooh, another $10,000 to spend on cable. Now, what was the hint? Use Add cable to the leftmost and rightmost anchor points for added support. Leftmost and rightmost. Well, let's see. That that would be here and here, right? So what can we do? What, is, what does that mean? Maybe we can just do this. Um, if we build up like this, we're just going to add loads of cable here. And how are we going to put this cable in? Let's see. Now, the problem is these are just girders upright, so there's no strength there at all. But how can we add cable? Like this? Okay, yeah, this is kind of cool. Let's just try this. Now, I feel like we should add some more support on these uh, on these girders over to the right. And we'd probably get a bad score for this level because we're using so much material. But it's okay, I think, because we've got lots of iron here. Right. So we'll add some more iron like that. And uh, we'll do the same thing over this side. And we're still well under budget, so that's okay. So we can add some support there as well. Let's try that over this side too. And I think that's symmetrical. Is that symmetrical? Yeah, that's symmetrical. And uh, yeah, now let's just add some more cable here. Okay, so if I just cable up like this, and it's kind of like a mini suspension bridge, but with the uh, the left and right towers just being a lot weaker, I guess. Although I feel like this 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 area here is just too weak. It's too flimsy because it's just standing on its own. So we'll have to see in simulation if this actually works out okay. But this is a pretty fun game so far. Okay, now we'll come across this side and drag out some cable like this. Oh, this is pretty cool. Okay, yeah. So let's press simulate and see... Oh my god! Oh no! Already it's kind of weak. Look at that. Okay, we need to think about this a bit more. So we'll go back to edit and bring away these points over here. So what are we going to do? I'll tell you what I think we're supposed to do. I think what we're supposed to do is remove these. Now, the trees are getting in the way a bit, so that's a bit annoying, but that's okay. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to iron, I think. And, um, oh, let's see. Now, if we add cable here, like this, just attached to the floor, this might actually help. Okay, let's try this. Press simulate on this and see what happens. Oh man, there's even more strain. Look, look at the amount of strain on there. 
Now, it's dipping down in the middle, which means we need a lot of support bringing up that middle. But um, how are we going to do that? How are we going to attain that? So let's go back to edit and uh, see if we can get some a solid triangle behind the bridge, like this. Right, now let's press simulate and see what happens here. Oh, okay, so there's a lot of stress on that cable right, on that kind of girder right there. So we need to find a way to, to lighten the load on that. This is pretty tricky, actually. Let's press simulate, though, and see what happens with the train itself. Okay, now this bridge is going to buckle miserably. Oh, no, it has. Crap. Okay, right, so let's go back to edit and see what we can do to fix this. And we're going to go back to the drawing board completely and just try and build ourselves a fresh bridge. Uh, okay, yes, yeah, so this looks a lot more stable than before. The strain here is only on those two really there and those two there. So let's see how this bridge fares when we put a train across it. Okay, let's play. Off we go. Okay, bring down the speed. Okay, oh, is that going to go red? Oh, no, I think, I think, the, oh, oh, it's blue there. Why is that blue? Is that bad? It's blue bad. Oh, it's buckling. No, no. Oh, no, the train is toast. Oh, this is pretty rough. Okay, let's see if we can fix this bridge again. Back into edit mode. Okay, so I've built the bridge, but I'm not sure this is going to handle the train. Okay, let's throw it across and see what happens to this bad boy. Okay, come on, dude. You can do it. I don't think it's going to do it. I think the train is going to fall into the chasm. No. Come on. Oh, oh, hang on a sec. Oh, guys. No way. We've done it. Oh, my God. It's worked. So the cable has anchored this triangle structure to the sides of the... Oh, we've done it. Oh, sweet. This is fantastic. This game is actually a lot of fun, and it's quite a challenge. And I've really enjoyed just tinkering around with bridges and girders and cables, and so it's pretty cool. So if you want to check this out, it's on Steam. It's quite cheap at the moment, $8.99. So take a look, take a gander over at it. And, uh, and yeah, I've been Stjin, and this has been Bridget Plus. Hit like and favor and subscribe if you want to see more Stjindy games. And I'm definitely going to come back to this and play it on my own, I think, just for a bit of fun, because it's a pretty cool game. So, until next time, take care.